Okay guys, so this is going to be the Big Daddy Planner video. This video is going to be all about the best A5 sized planner to put your, whoa, uncoiled Erin Condren planner in. Not, I didn't trim off the coils or the coil punches at all. I have a video on how to punch both of these guys into your planner. I also didn't, um, trim off anything from the happy planner as well so the best binder system a5 binder system for Erin condren and happy planner so i have the these inserts here i have an a5 size page to compare and then a half letter size page to compare okay so for the sake of showing you how an a5 versus a half letter size versus a happy planner um and Erin Condren insert looks. So this is half letter size. You can see that it's a bit longer and a bit shorter or, or less wide, narrow, more narrow than a true A5 page. So this is the half letter size page. I believe sweet, uh, blah, so much crafting inserts are half letter size. I don't have any of her inserts. This is a true A5 size here, and this is a Happy Planner page. Also, let's put in, all my planner pages are going to get all messed up. My couch is also squeaky. This is the size of an Erin Condren page compared to the Happy Planner in A5. So I'm doing it this way because I want to show you that because the punching area for the coil from the coil is so small, it actually makes the insert stick out a little bit more. If you can see that there. And then the Happy Planner inserts are a little bit taller. Now if I were to take these pages and line them up, they're the exact same width, give or take a hair, but because I have to punch so close to the coil, it sticks this out a little bit more. So, I should do one with a tab to show you here. So, they're about the same, but if we have to line up the holes, the actual six ring holes, it's gonna put the Erin Condren tab out a little bit farther. So. We'll put that in there like that. I'll show you, this is True A5. This is Happy Planner. This is Erin Condren. This is half size, or half letter size. Eight and a half by five and a half. Whatever A5 size is. And I think these are like, this one is like seven by nine. I'm not sure of the uh, exact measurements of this one. I'll leave that down below. So, for the sake of comparing the sizes, that's what that is. So I'm gonna take these guys out. So I'm gonna go over each planner that I have a bit, each A5 planner a bit before I start comparing things or as I start comparing things. So this is the Carpe Diem, this is the shade Aqua. I also have the Coral shade. This is what I'm currently using for my Erin Condren insert, so I'm not gonna go into that one. When you get your Carpe Diem, you will have inserts like this. You can see how much room you have in here with these inserts. There's a lot of space right here from the outside to the start of the inserts. The tabs don't stick out or anything. Like I said, this is true A5 size paper. So if you order A5 inserts, A5 size inserts, these are A5 size inserts. Half letter size, again, is a little bit narrower and a little bit longer. So you get undated horizontal inserts as well as a monthly view as well as this like dashboard kind of thing. So my favorite binder to keep my Happy Planner or Erin Condren inserts in is the Carpe Diem. So I only have a few months here because I don't want to take everything out, but I will leave the link down below, like I said, to punching in your um, Erin Condren planner into an A5 binder system. If you've seen my current plan with me, you know that I do use the Carpe Diem uh, as my planner or as my binder for my Erin Condren inserts. So I only have May or June through December in here, and that's going to show you how much the tabs stick out. 
So that's how much the tabs stick out in a Carpe Diem planner for the Erin Condren. You can still close your band, and I actually have all 12 months of the Erin Condren 12 month planner that I have in a, in a Carpe Diem. It fits, the snap still closes fine. There's no strain on the snap. You have a little bit of gap here because we have so few months. So if you want to have a little bit more room maybe to stuff your pockets or something, then you can definitely only punch in a few months at a time. And now for Happy Planner, you can see that the tabs also take up a lot of space. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six months in here. So we can close the binder up as well. They stick out about the same amount as the Erin Condren insert. I don't really know how to best do this, so maybe I should do it this way. Let's put these guys in here. So you can see that they stick out, this is a Mambi tab, they stick out about just as much as the Erin Condren pages and that's because we punched a little bit farther in so there's about the same amount of space showing. So that's what the Erin Condren and the Happy Planner inserts look like in a Carpe Diem. I'll show you again how the tabs stick out. So it looks like, looks like that, get them all straight here. Looks like that, they stick out about the same, the same amount, but your strap can still close. The next binder I wanna show you is the Marion, the A5 Marion Smith Heart of Gold Planner. This one also has a snap closure. You also get this gorgeous interior here and these beautiful pockets and A5 size inserts. You do get some monthly inserts. You do get some weekly inserts. This paper is ridiculously smooth. You do get some daily inserts, some notes here, as well as gold foiled tabs, uh, a ledger, and pen swatches. So I'm gonna take, and beautiful gold rings. I'm gonna take this out here. So you can see when it lays flat, you definitely have some room to work like it's not sticking over the edge. However, when we go to close the planner, you're gonna be disappointed. I gotta get all the pages in the middle here because the tabs stick out severely far. Now you can still close this strap. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months in it between the Happy Planner and the Carp or the Erin Condren inserts, but the tabs stick out incredibly far. So far that I, aesthetically, I don't prefer this. I don't think that this is a really nice thing to look at. Um, you know, if you have it open, it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. It'll be nice to look at. But I don't I don't like this binder for this because of how far the tabs stick. You get a pin loop. It isn't elastic. It's like this faux leather stuff. So that's the Marion Smith Heart of Gold planner. The next planner is my first planner ever. It's the Filofax Safiano um, in Raspberry, I believe. These are super cute and very affordable. So this is the Filofax brand. Let's put in the inserts here. So we'll put in the, whoops, my fingers are getting caught in the rings. The Erin Condren and the Happy Planner inserts. So now I'm hoping you can see that these stick over, the Happy Planner inserts stick over the length or meet just at the top of the length of the planner. These have a little bit more room at the top and the bottom. So let's get the pages together. I keep bending that back page for the Happy Planner. And that is how far the tabs stick out for the file effects. And I cannot close my snap well yeah I guess I can but there's a lot of strain on the snap you're not gonna be able to fit a pin in this pin loop here and they meet right at the top of the length of the planner so again you do have a little bit of room on either side when it's open these rings are huge but when you close the planner the tabs are gonna stick out way too far to even look pretty or even anything like it's a big aesthetic thing for me so I don't like this planner for this either. The next A5 binder is a Color Crush binder. I actually got this off of Blitzy and I will leave a link down below to Blitzy. It's like a flash sale craft site. Plus you can get planner supplies on there for really, really cheap. I got 
this from there. I've got other planners before. I got that Marion Smith Heart of Gold planner from there. Um, so they have deals all the time. So this is the A5 Color Crush planner. I can, I already have some ring dents here. So we will put in the Erin Condren inserts and the Happy Planner inserts. And you can see you have a little bit less space. These tabs go all the way almost to the edge of the binder, the Erin Condren tabs do. I feel like I have more tabs in there. Yeah, let's pull them all straight together. So they almost go all the way to the edge here. You don't have as much room as in the Marion Smith or the uh, Filofax Safiano. These go all the way to the edge here of the hat or of the uh, Webster's Pages A5 Color Crush. So I'm going to get all the tabs and inserts together here. And you cannot close the tab at all. I can't get that closed at all. It's going to stretch way too far over there. And this is how far the tabs stick out in the Webster's Color Crush Planner. Again, not pretty for me. I don't like it. I do not like it. Um, and you can see, again, the tabs go almost all the way to the, or the Happy Planner tabs go all the way to the edge of the binder. And like I said, these are all untrimmed inserts from Erin Condren and from the Happy Planner. I didn't trim them at all. The next A5 planner is my favorite planner ever. It's the Filofax Original Fluoro Pink. Um, these rings are very, very tiny. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit everything in there. I'm going to try just a little, a few monthly inserts from the Happy Planner. Okay. So we have these tabs here. They don't go all the way to the edge. They do meet the top and the bottom of the um, planner though. This doesn't meet the top and the bottom. There's still a little bit of room. The tabs almost go to the edge. There's a little bit of room in there. Let's get these together. This is how far, and you're definitely, you're really gonna get far away from closing the snap. So that's how far the inserts tabs are gonna stick out in a Filofax original. And that's pretty far, and you can't even close the snap. And this only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months in there. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight months in there, so. The final planner, is the and I didn't get any inserts with my A5 Webster's Pages planner so I didn't go over those and I didn't I don't have the inserts anymore for my Filofax planner so I didn't go over those um but I'm sure you can find that on here I do have a walkthrough review first impressions of this this is the Hello Forever planner um uh, from Studio Calico I do have a video walkthrough first impressions open it up straight from the box video here on this planner again these rings are very very small so I doubt you'd be able to fit all the months from either of the planners in there so you can see you have a ton of room on either side of these they don't meet these almost meet the top and bottom of the hello forever planner these are pretty far away still let's get these together and close it up and you can see that the tabs hardly stick out at all. I swear my camera is pretty much parallel to this plane here. So you can see that they stick out very, very, very minimal. And then you have this instead of a um, tab to bind around this way with a snap, you have this elastic. Um, so they stick out very, very, very minimally. You can probably still even get a pin in there to have as uh, without interfering with your tabs here. That was a lot of jumbled mess that I just said. Um, however, so, so this technically would be the best planner to fit untrimmed, punched, a uh, happy planner or Erin Condren inserts. However, I don't believe that this planner is worth the $54 that you will pay for it. If you want to get it on sale, try and find when they have a 20% um, off sale or something like that. I just feel like this feels like, I've been told, I think it feels like an old school photo album that your mom might have on a shelf still, still where it's kind of plushy going on. And I've also been told it feels like the Heidi Swap, the 
striped planners that they have. Heidi Swap has. That's a binder as well. I've been told it kind of feels like that. But I don't think, and it's square, it's not round like the other planners. I don't think it's the best, I don't think it's the best quality wise planner. If you're going to pay $60 for your Erin Condren and you're going to take it apart and then punch it and you're going to pay $60 for a crappy kind of, I don't know. I wouldn't say crappy. I think it's decent. It's just I'm used to really nice planners like Filofaxes and whatnot. And even the Color Crushes, I think, are way better than this. So, and the Carpe Diem is way better than this. So, I would say there are two options when it comes to picking a planner for three options, really, because I don't have one of them. So, in this video, the two options for housing your Erin Condren or Happy Planner inserts in an A5 binder are either the Carpe Diem, that's what I use personally and I love, or the Hello Forever Planner. The third option that I don't have that I will try to remember to link the video down below is for a video from Miss Stitchery where she compares a Carpe Diem and a Kiki K A5. And I believe that's more comparable here. So if you like the way the Kiki K looks or like the way the Carpe Diem tabs look, a Kiki K large, I believe, is their sizing for A5 would be a, a great option for that. But the two options in this video are going to be the Hello Forever Planner or the Carpe Diem. There's more colors in the Carpe Diem. It's more affordable. You can often find this on Blitzy, which like I said, I will link below. There are four colors in the Hello Forever Planner. I'm gonna close this up. There are four colors in the Hello Forever Planner. There's this slate gray or gray stone, I believe it's called. There's also a melon color. And there's two other colors, one other color. I don't remember. I will leave the link down below for this as well. Um, so these two are my recommendations. I recommend the Carpe Diem over the Hello Forever, but I know people can get really particular about the length that the tabs stick out. And the only reason I recommend this one is because they fit absolutely freaking perfectly in there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe and check out the rest of my planner videos. I hope that this video was kind of organized for you in a way that made sense. I just wanted to go through the overview of all the planners and how the inserts looked in each planner. Um, I just thought that was really important to do and to show you. Um, somebody's driving really fast down the road. So I hope, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave my um, social media links here. You can also follow my blog. It's uh, 516thsblog.com. I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.